So please do stay with us. But first tonight, our region's hospitals are relying on charity fundraising to buy vital equipment for breast cancer patients. We've been following Susie Orr from Chorley's Cancer Treatment and were with her when her tumour was removed with high-tech precision. Without this state-of-the-art equipment, Susie would have undergone a mastectomy. But Chorley Hospital has just one of the magnetic probe machines which helps preserve a woman's breast. Another hospital in our region has also been in touch asking for equipment after following Susie's story. We'll be discussing these issues with Susie shortly. But first, this from Elaine Wilcox, and a warning, the report does contain a graphic image of a tumour. It's a final check with the anaesthetist before Susie all heads to theatre. Anything to eat or drink this morning? Water at about 4am. So in terms of the anaesthetic, drip in the back of the hand, yeah. a bit of oxygen to breathe, pop some monitors on you. Okay. Any questions at all? I'll be out your week's fix. I've had my week's fix. <laughs> <laughs> Her cancer was picked up on a routine mammogram, and after our first broadcast with Susie, more women bought theirs, including one of her friends, who's been called back. I'm just sending lots of up there, and, you know, but, I'm, but you know, that's what it's all about, you just go and get these mammograms, because she said I wouldn't have had it if it wasn't me, if it wasn't for you, you know, shouting out about it. Susie's cancer is invisible to the eye, only by the breast x-ray. It's small and her surgeon uses a probe to locate the magnetic seed. I'm on the tumour here now, just before we remove it. It's then checked again on an x-ray to see the area around the tumour. And the probe is used to remove it with precision accuracy, preserving her breast. That's the cancer out now, and it's right in the middle of the magnetic seed. Without this technology, Susie would have had to have a mastectomy. If you can just give radiology a heads up for the specimen to go down. The tumour is then taken away for a biopsy, along with a number of Susie's lymph nodes to check they aren't cancerous. So the magnetic seed that we put in prior to the operation is the seed here, you can see. And you've only got one of these machines at Chorley, and you would like to? Of course, we have one machine, and sometimes we are running two theatre lists. So therefore, having two would be a, a great benefit to this unit and the running of our theatres. She's smiling. As we were chatting with Miss Hafiz after surgery, Susie was brought back from theatre. She now have to wait for the results to help plan her treatment, and we'll continue to follow her story. The consultant said it's gone really well. How are you feeling? I've had a look down, and everything looks sort of intact and everything. It's very sore, but yeah hopefully onwards and upwards and now you need to rest i do <laughs> susie moore joins us now a week since your surgery you look great how are you feeling i'm great i feel i feel like a fraud really oh, um, <laughs> i feel really good i've been you know watching what i'm eating and and taking it easy like they, they um told me to and i've been on um, oxygen every day, just sitting in an oxygen chamber. So I think it's all doing me good, but I feel really good, thank you. Susie, during the operation, the consultant used the latest technology um, to preserve your breast, but I mean, is it right that hospitals have to ask charity for, for funds? It's crazy, isn't it? It's absolutely crazy. And thankfully, Bootech Breast Cancer have just agreed to procure another of those machines for Charlie Breast Care Unit, so I'm really grateful to Debbie Dowie and the team there for doing that. Um, and another hospital, I think it was Blackpool Victoria, contacted her as well, so she's also agreed to do that. But no, um, the system's broken if the hospitals can't provide this equipment. And the idea as a woman of having to lose my breast when there's equipment out there that can just remo remove it, and hopefully the scarring will be minimum as well. Um, it, that's so key. And because of your story, because of us covering it, people have actually gone for mammograms who hadn't been before. How does that make you feel? Yeah, uh, well, it's brilliant, isn't it? Um, literally dozens now. I've had so many messages, so many women messaging me that I'm going today for my mammogram. A um, couple of ladies who'd never had mammograms before and just wouldn't that have been and they were clear. I've only had one of my friends who went for one and has had a call back, so I'm wishing her all the best for Wednesday when she gets her results. But the, the message is, go and have them because if they catch it early, it's not like years ago it was a death sentence and it really isn't anymore. Um, my prognosis is really good 
I've got to go through, you know, some rough times, but through chemo and all sorts of other things. So it's not going to be um, a great winter for me this year. But you know, the sun will come out next year. But we need to get not just the um, the mammograms, but things like um, prostate for men. Um, if you're 60, like I'm lucky enough to be, in, you spent a poo test. Do your poo test because all of these things are provided. We have a great health service, but we we really need to take them up and, and do these. And we understand that um, Black and Asian people are particularly reluctant to to, to to come forward. I mean, what what would your message to them be? It's the same message, and I, I actually said to uh, again another lady who's from a, an Indian community who told me this. I offered to go and speak to groups of ladies there, and if anybody would like com company to go for a mammogram, I'm happy to go pick someone up, take them for the mammogram, hold a hand, because it's literally 30 seconds of discomfort, um, but you know, you take a deep breath, it's, it's all over with. And if it saves your life, if I hadn't have gone for my routine mammogram, I'd never have known that I had cancer. And if I'd have waited until I had lumps or bumps, you know, it might have been too late. You're a lifesaver. Certainly oh. are. Susie, thanks very much for coming in. We'll be with you when you get your results. Yeah, thank week. you. Brilliant. Thanks a lot.